The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to don Defence Force's personal protective equipment at level 3. This video will demonstrate the use of PPE including a Type 2R face mask with integrated visor and ear loops. This level of PPE will protect the wearer from droplet transmission but not from medical procedures which would cause the virus to aerosolize such as CPR or intubation. This level of PPE is suitable for use when conducting nasopharyngeal swabbing for COVID-19. Before donning PPE, ensure you perform hand hygiene. Hand hygiene can be with soap and water, known as hand washing, or with hand sanitizer, hand rubbing. In order to perform hand washing, you will need running water, soap, paper towel, and a waste bin. Remove any jewelry, including wedding rings or watches. In order to prevent contamination of personal items, empty your pockets of coins, keys, etc. Remove any items which may lead to distraction, such as bleeps or mobile telephones. Wet your hands thoroughly with water. Apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm in a circular motion five times. Run the right palm over the back of the left hand with interlaced fingers five times and vice versa. Rub fingers palm to palm with fingers interlaced five times. Rub backs of fingers to the opposing palms with fingers interlocked five times. Rotational rubbing of the left thumb clasped in the right and vice versa five times. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of the right hand five times and vice versa. Rinse hands thoroughly with water. Dry hands completely with disposable paper towel. Use the paper towel to turn off the tap, ensuring your hands do not get contaminated. Discard the paper towel into the waste bin. Your hands are now safe. Cover any cuts or lacerations of your skin with a sterile dressing. Secure with medical tape if required. Before donning your PPE and entering a clinical or operational area, ensure you are adequately hydrated, have eaten and are rested. Use the bathroom or take any medications you may require. Remove any distractions such as watches, telephones, bleeps or radios. Remove jewellery including wedding rings, earrings and bracelets. For males, ensure the face is clean shaven in order to give a safe seal to your face mask or respirator. Begin by removing your clean uniform and store in a clean area of the green zone. Remove your footwear, store safely and don a set of medical scrubs. Select a pair of Wellington boots. Choose one size larger than you would normally wear to ensure easier removal of the boots during the doffing stage. Sit on the chair provided and ensure you tuck the scrubs into the Wellingtons. Before proceeding, perform hand hygiene using alcohol gel. Use the hand rub technique. Apply a palmful of the product in a cup hand covering all surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm five times. Right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers and vice versa five times. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced five times. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked five times. Rotational rubbing of the left thumb clasped in right palm and vice versa five times. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in the left palm and vice versa five times. Once dry, your hands are now safe. Next, select an appropriate sized apron or gown. Insert your arms into each sleeve and pull the gown up to cover the lower neck area, ensuring that both shoulders are adequately covered. Using the strings or ties, tie the top of the apron at the level of the neck. Seek assistance if required. Tie a knot which can be easily released or torn. Tie the lower part of the apron at the back or side. Do not tie the front of the apron as the front of the apron is likely to be the most contaminated with virus or bacteria. Select an appropriate face mask. In this case, 
we are using a type 2R fluid resistant mask with integrated visor and ear loops. Place the ear loops behind the ears. Use the upper wire band to create a firm seal along the bridge of the nose. Pull the mask below the chin and ensure there are no creases. Choose an appropriate sized pair of long cuff nitrile gloves and inspect them for any holes, tears or defects. Don each glove being careful to ensure that the cuff of each glove covers the cuff of the gown on both sides. Take the permanent marker and place an X on the back of each gloved hand. In situations where you may need to double glove, this will serve as a visual reminder that the gloves with an X are the last set of gloves you are wearing. In order to conserve PPE, you may have to remain in the same PPE whilst you care for or examine multiple patients. In this case, you may wish to wear a second outer pair of gloves, which you can change between each patient contact in accordance with the WHO 5 moments for hand hygiene. This may occur in such settings as COVID-19 test centres or respiratory hubs. Next, the PPE monitor will write your name, job role and the time you will leave the red zone on your apron. The time spent in PPE will be determined based on local conditions such as temperature, workload, etc. The PPE monitor will now inspect that your PPE is correctly worn and has no defects. In order to conserve PPE, you may have to remain in the same personal protective equipment whilst you care for or examine multiple patients. In some cases, where there is a high risk of contact with body fluids, it is prudent to wear an outer disposable plastic apron, which can be easily removed if it becomes contaminated. This helps to prevent cross-contamination between patients and also adds an additional layer of protection to the healthcare worker. You are now adequately protected from droplet transmission in order to provide patient care or carry out operational tasks.